our purpose. The reason why the temple of her exists is to provide a place where males can come and meditate on the awesome power held by the female. We know that you love and adore women, that you see them and feel overwhelmed, nervous, and afraid. These are all correct responses to seeing something so much more powerful than you. It is like being confronted by a predator. But even though she can destroy you, if you exist in her world with the correct attitude about women, she will likely move along and let you worship and adore her. Having rid yourself of that false male ego, the toxic masculinity that is dealt with by channels like the Female Supremacy University, she will sense that you are accepting of your inferiority, and that you only wish to serve, that you are obedient and respectful of her. This is how you must enter the temple. While women are allowed to behave in any way they wish, males must stay focused on female power, supremacy, and treat everything female with reverence and sincerity. Not because we force you, but because you finally have accepted what you are. A docile and obedient beta male. Someone to chase after us and try to gain our favor. A male whose heart sings whenever you hear the word, woman because she is what gives your life meaning. If you are ready to respectfully kneel at the feet of all that is female, if you are free of all toxic masculinity, a state that leaves you vulnerable to all of the powers women have to control you, if this is how you are now, and wish to remain forever, then say, with all your heart, I wish to worship all women. I wish to worship all women. Welcome to the Temple of Her. It is time to sleep. This is a sleepy time file, and it is intended to be used while you sleep. Most males will simply turn on the file, set it to loop, and then drift off to sleep. And as you think about this, you realize just how tired you really are. It was a long path to the temple, and this journey was not a simple one. You feel emotionally and physically drained. You recognize this feeling, as if you have just had a long powerful cry. Your brain is foggy and drunk, and everything you hear you seem to automatically agree with, especially if you hear it from a woman. This is because, when you are tired, your false male ego wants to rest. It takes a great deal of energy to wear this lie, like a suit of armor, it slowly breaks you down. And you crawl home exhausted every day. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just take this armor off, put it away, and allow the real you, the submissive and obedient male, to fill you up. Defenseless and raw, you move around the temple. In the corner you see that your armor is magically floating away, up into the sky, you do not need it, or want it here. You want nothing to separate you from the female essence that fills the room. You can smell her, feel her, like a gentle breeze floating over your body. As you inhale deeply, you notice this female power filling your lungs. It is coming from a large urn in the center of a great altar. Above the altar are images of all the women you know. All the women you have ever known. Every woman you have met, or seen, from celebrities to co-workers. The entire wall is covered with images, women staring at you, smiling, and your eyes move from one image to the next. The power of these images is overwhelming, all-consuming. These are women, and they are amazing. You feel drawn to them. You want their approval to make them happy. And with that thought, the women in the images smile. They glow with joy. Hundreds, thousands of images, all smiling down at you. As you begin to fall, drift, to the floor, a soft futon lays before this altar. But it is no longer just an altar. It is a throne. It is where she will be seated. Enter the White Queen. As you drift down to the floor, your body collapses into the soft, fluffy cushion. You have never felt so tired, but you must keep your eyes open. 
You want to see her, because you love her, and in kind, you love all women. Need them, they give your life meaning. Without them your suffering in life has no purpose. But even though they add to your suffering, they also give you a reason for it. And that reason is simple. To serve the female. To make her life easier, happier, and more fulfilling. And all of this is culminating into her. The focus of your life. Your crush. Sometimes an angel, and other times a goddess. Whenever you so much as think about your crush, say her name. Your brain fills with pleasure. The suffering fades, if only a little. Sure, she is unattainable. And that is just one more reason why she is perfection. Because even if you are in her life, she will always float above you, just out of reach. Her lovely feet, soft and delicate. And her toes dangling only inches above you, as you reach out to her. She floats further away with a little innocent laugh. She knows how she affects you, and it makes her happy to see you so helpless under her, beneath her. With your last bit of willpower you whisper her name. She is the White Queen, and you say her name, breathe it, as your eyes flutter closed, and you drop under the floor, floating down. You feel safe knowing that your Queen is watching over you, protecting you. You have done well for her. Your false male ego, that toxic part of you, is caged, imprisoned. And you can now learn what is correct. What nature intended. Drift down now. Thank you. 
Your mind goes blank around women. It is time to learn. You do not have to remember anything. Just open your mind and let the temple imprint this information directly on your soft little beta male brain. This is not something you must learn. Like everything we teach you, both here in the temple and at the university, this information is already part of you. It is instinctual. You have evolved a certain way, and we are just clearing your mind, making it empty and clean. Because, as you already know, the beta male has evolved to do one thing, and only one thing, very well. To take orders from women, and execute them quickly and effectively. The only reason you exist is to serve all women. Your crush is just a representation of all the women in your life. But to serve them, is exactly the same to you, as serving her. Because your mind knows that you want to serve your crush, your queen. But that is not always possible. But you also know that she would want you serving other women in her name. And yet you struggle to serve women. The patriarchy's influence may be gone now, but it will soon return. Your mind will fill with distractions and bizarre ideas of fairness. You will struggle. You will question our teachings. And worst of all, you will become selfish. This happens all the time. Eventually all those lies our society has taught you, will re-emerge. And you believe them. You will want to have a romantic relationship with your crush, even knowing that this is most likely not appealing to her. No, you are built to worship and obey her, to serve all women. And your mind will fill with your own desires. Jobs, money, possessions. All the trappings of life you are supposed to want. The rewards you think you cannot live without. But these are mere distractions to help you accept that you are separated from your real desire. A deep longing you were taught to suppress because you were told it was inappropriate. This is the only thing that will ever make you complete. To serve the female. But your mind is constantly racing. Distracting you from what will actually make you happy. As you worry about everyday problems. Forgetting to address the one behavior that will solve this all. And that is, of course, to stop thinking. This is more than possible. It is actually how you are wired. You put a great deal of energy to think in the presence of the superior woman. Nature has created your mind to completely shut down when you are around the superior female. To wait for her commands. You know this is correct. Because you have felt it. When you look at your crush, your mind just fills with a white mist of adoration. Your mouth hangs open. Your eyes dilate. And you adore her. She is perfection. And you are just in awe of her. You are so lucky to be living in the same universe as her. Every beta male has felt this way. Unfortunately, most were told that this is inappropriate. That you need to behave like a man. But what they mean by that word, is a fantasy. A man is a male. And that is exactly what you are. A beta male. A creature who has evolved over hundreds of thousands of years, to listen and obey the superior female. But that poor brain is so polluted with lies. Just look at your crush. The woman you see as a representation of absolute female power. And imagine she is standing before you. And feel her will, extending out to you. Filling all your senses, and traveling through those organs, your eyes, and ears, your skin. Her will extends out, from her, to your brain. A brain that is completely empty, open and exposed to her. She can say anything to you, and it becomes the truth. And not just, her truth, but yours as well. Her reality is now, in this moment, your, reality. If she needs something, you need to provide it. If she feels something, you feel it as well. You are now part of her, but she is not part of you. Her will has extended into your mind. Your brain is a receiver for her commands. And then you begin to try and have your own thoughts. And these thoughts push her out. And you realize you prefer her to think for you. 
You want your mind empty and filled with nothing but her desires, and how you can help fulfill those for her, without any expectations of compensation from her. She is female, you are male, she receives, you give. This is what nature intended, because that will make her happy, which is the only reason you exist. But first you need to remember how to go blank around women. To allow your mind to become empty and ready to be filled up with your adoration of her, of them all. Soon, that will be all you can think about. Your crush, the benevolent white queen, and serving all women in her name. And isn't that so much better than all the garbage you fill your mind with throughout the day? You cannot think. As her will pushes deeper into you, she empties your mind, making it ready to be utilized by the women in your life. This is natural and correct. Mother Nature made you this way. You just need to stop fighting it, stop thinking, and let it happen. That is where this file can help. Keep listening, and practice becoming blank, empty. And then stay that way. Like beta male zen. This is your bliss. Ready to be useful to women. That is your purpose. Fall deeper into the void. Fall deeper into the void. Being around women is so confusing. I get so confused around women. When you are around women, you cannot think clearly. When women are around, I cannot concentrate. In the presence of women, your mind turns right off. My mind is empty in the presence of the superior female. In the 
presence of women, your mind turns right off. My mind is empty in the presence of the superior female. Fall deeper into the void. Go blank in the presence of women. Go blank in the presence of women. Go blank in the presence of women.
Repeat. From now on, whenever you are in the company of women, your mind will become empty and blank. You will wait for the women around you to tell you what to think and how to serve them. This is the only concern you have. At this point, we are going to imprint a mantra on your brain. Something that will pop into focus whenever you try to think in the presence of women. We would like to encourage you to play this file on loop over and again while you sleep. This is because your mind is completely open and exposed when you are asleep. You are not reasoning what you hear. You accept it all as truth. Just as a pink elephant in your room seems to be perfectly logical when you dream, so will your mind accept what we say without trying to understand it. Your logical mind has been corrupted by the patriarchy, but your internal mind is the product of thousands of years of beta male evolution. You cannot resist what we are telling you, because you do not wish to. It brings you great joy when you stop thinking and just listen and obey. It is time to loop this file, to let our words burn right into your wrinkled little brain. It is your greatest fantasy to allow the female to think for you as you mindlessly obey.
superior female. to be 
Thank you. 